Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a bit of a hint slash tip slash uh, oh my god, what did I do video. Well, of course, here in front of us we have, well, a GMC Canyon. Of course, it has, well, just front disc brakes and drum rear brakes. I've done my tire changeovers on this thing basically since day one every winter for like the last six years. And of course in the spring over the last six years never had this issue. What issue is that you ask? Well for those of you that are familiar with aluminum wheels uh, touching something metal. Well sometimes the aluminum wheel sticks to the metal uh, object uh, namely the well drum. And then when you go to pull the rim off, it won't come off, you know, especially after the lug nuts are removed. Well, of course, um, I've watched several videos over the years on how to remove a rim from the drum. So, of course, I, I used that method. However, um, it wasn't loose enough. So, of course, when I grabbed and pulled on the rim to get her on off the truck, the old drum uh, came on with it. I don't know if there's something wrong with the brakes on my truck or if that's just the way they are or if they're three quarters wore out or what. But um, pretty much I went to go put the drum back on there just like it's supposed to be. And of course it would not fit. The uh, shoes looked like they popped out like, you know, a quarter inch overall. And I was like, well, what happened there? So of course I tried squeezing them back together and of course they wouldn't just squeeze back together. and. You know, I was thinking, well, what did I do, right? Well, after, you know, some consultation with your local automotive uh, fix-it shop, uh, they recommend you adjust this little uh, star wheel thingy there. Apparently that's some kind of fine adjustment that when things start to wear or whatever start to move, that thing there quickly adjusts to take up any slack. But I don't know why mine um, went so far as what it did. Usually it's not that that tight or that far, right? So of course mine was stuck. It was kind of semi-seized. With a truck with only 60,000 K on, it shouldn't have been like that in a semi-sealed environment like your, well, brake drum, right? So of course you're not supposed to put anything oily or anything in here like WD-40 or grease or whatever. But I shot a little bit, of course, with a rag wrapped around it, so I wouldn't really get uh, back spray or you know anything on the pads themselves. Pretty much, as you see, the pads are well completely dry, so I'm good there. Then, of course, I'm sure there's some kind of fancy tool to do this, but I just took a flat screwdriver, uh, one to hold the keeper out of the way and one to turn. And I gave her a couple of turns, of course, you know, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty kind of a deal. Until I got the right dimensions of, well, the brake drum versus the brake shoe. Of course, using, well, just your old uh, carpenter's tape measure. Again, I'm sure there's some kind of fancy tool to measure the, well, width of the brake shoes. But, you know, when you don't have it, you don't have it. And now, of course... After I swear an hour of fighting with this thing and searching online with no answer, much hardly at all, I got the drum back on. Now when you spin her, it makes a very, very, very light uh, grinding noise or touching noise. I'm sure that's not quite 100% in, um, you know, spec for adjustment. But uh, according to the mechanic shop, as soon as you start backing up, it'll probably adjust to about 100% or at least 99% of where you need it. Of course, um, I'd recommend taking this down to a mechanic shop and having them look at, make sure, you know, you didn't mess anything up, bend anything, or, you know, leave any, you know, severed fingers or tools inside, just to make sure it's, so uh, well, good to go. Because, well, you're dealing with brakes, and they have to be, you know, 99, 100%, right? But again guys, this is by no, by no means a tutorial or instruction video. This is basically just how I solved my problem. Um, you know, if you want to try this at home, try it at home. But, uh, I'm no, but I'm not responsible for any results uh, that happen, both positive and negative, out of this here issue. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.